Hi, I've been wanting to do a little video about uh, my bionic hand for a while now. Uh, now I've had it about 18 months, it's probably about time I did. Um, but before I talk to you about that, a little bit of history. Um, I lost my arm in uh, 1994, I had a, a cancerous tumour on my wrist. Um, and then so basically after a couple of months, obviously that swelling go down, I was offered my first prosthetic, which was not dissimilar to this little number. Um, you know, proper state of the art, obviously, as you can tell. Um, it's, it's the old split hook, a design that's no doubt been around for, you know, well, I don't know, 100 years at least. Uh, what you used to do was you'd have the cable round one shoulder, and then basically just by moving the arm in and out, would open and shut the hook. You know, it's pretty basic, but it's obviously uh, an idea that works. Um, however, I, I couldn't really get on with, the, with wearing the uh, cable all the time. I found it very uncomfortable, so I used to just take the cable off and wear it as just a hook. Um, and I did that for, oh, I don't know, 10 years, I think. Um, and then basically I was asking something if there was anything more sophisticated. Um, and I was uh, lucky enough to, I was offered this one. Which, I mean, at the time there were the um, cosmetic hands, which would, you know, do that sort of thing. And that was all. But I wasn't really bothered about aesthetics at the time. I wanted something that had the functionality. Um, and there's the, this, this basically had the same functionality as the split hook. But instead of the cable, it's, it's electric. It's a battery, as you can see in the side there. Um, you basically can take them in and out, and they're rechargeable. Um, as you can see, the, the, the tendon, uh, sorry, the, uh, the sensors in there would work against your muscles. So basically the muscle that does that would open the hook, and the muscle that does that would close it. Um, it's, it's a lot heavier than the other hook, of course, which obviously took a while to get used to. Um, but that gave me you know, a lot more flexibility and use, um, and that did me well for another good number of years. Um, which brings us on to the B-Bionic. So I was lucky enough to, to be offered this by uh, the guys at Secret Hospital in Leeds. Um, and obviously, you know, I jumped at the chance. Uh, this this one I found, there was another one called the Eye Limb, which I also tried, I personally preferred this one. As you can see, it looks a lot more like a real hand. You know, you've got the fingers, it's much more aesthetic. Um, it uses the same concept as the hook. So the muscle that uh, opens it, as you've just seen, affects that to open it, the other muscle will close it. But obviously with this you've got um, different grip positions. So you've got that one where you can use for gripping paper and stuff. Um, if I come out and flex again, you've got the point position. And then you've got two more positions. If I press the button on the outside, it gives me another access to another two, where you've got this one, which you would basically use to put on a jacket or something so you're not catching the thumb. Um, you can also use it to that solid then, so you know if I had to press anything. Um, and you've got the other one, which, although I don't use it, it's quite it's quite fat, it's pretty cool. It's um, a mouse operator. I'm right-handed, so you know I don't really use that one. You've also got by moving the the, the thumb to the side there it gives you another set of positions. So you've got this one, which is the the beckoning one. Flex again. You've got the pinch. Um, Press the button again, you've got the pinch again, and then basically the full fist, which you can use for carrying cups and, and what have you. Um, so that, that's, that's basically it. Um, I'll say it's it, I mean it's great obviously, and I, aesthetically I absolutely love it. Um, it's given me a far better, uh, more comfort for wearing if you like, than, than any of the hooks despite its weight. Um, and had quite a psychological impact which I was quite surprised about actually. Um, with the other hooks, um, especially the the original one in the in the lovely flesh coloured uh, plastic by the way my flesh is not that colour um, I'd often want to hide that up you know cover it over the sleeve or something with this one I'm finding I want to wear a short sleeve more often so I can show it off I mean for example I was visiting a friend at the weekend and just somebody in the pub just went hey man your, your arm's cool <laughs> but yeah not as cool as my original one but uh, yeah so basically I just want to say thank you to all the team at Seacroft Deborah and her team Seacroft Hospital that have been so great in getting me this um, and it's great, so yeah, okay, thanks very much.